Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the third of three videos for our generation uh, food sets. Um, I'm very excited about this one. Um, I, I, I'm very excited about this one. Oops, ooh, that's how excited I am about it. Um, so, I, so in all of these, I love doll food. I, I absolutely do. Uh, the secret is though, I, I don't cook. Um, I can survival cook. Like I can do enough to feed myself with some measure of nutritional value. Uh, it, it, but it, cooking is very stressful for me. Um, it very, it's very stressful for me. So I, I don't cook a lot. Um, that being said, I absolutely love food. And so <laughs> I kind of get to live vicariously through my dolls sometime. Um, some of these things, because I have so many food sets, I already have, um, like I do have this basil plant just in a white container instead of pink. I have the basil leaves. I already have, uh, the olive oil. I already have pepper shakers. This one looks larger though. Um, than ones I already have. I'm very excited about the coffee cup. Yes, I know. I just opened up a whole espresso setup. Uh, but, I mean, in the last video, but I'm very excited about that. I get another block of cheese, but uh, I get to um, roll the pasta, which I'm very excited about. Um, anyway, I thought this was just a very cute set. So um, I, when I saw it with these other food sets, I'm like, I just have to have this. So this is my third set. So I'm going to get it out of the box again, off camera, so you don't have to see me struggle with the packaging. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, and here is everything out of the packaging. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, the rice cooker made sounds and the espresso machine made sounds. This, I don't think, makes sound. But I do think there, there's still an active element to this set. And it's this right here. So... You have, um, this is the pasta machine, and this is a sheet of pasta. So this is plastic, but it is very pliable. Um, it's not like, actually, that's pliable too. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Um, okay, that, that actually is the same material. That's really, I was not expect. I was expecting this to be a harder injected, molded injected plastic. Okay, cool. Um, fantastic. So, uh, this is, uh, it's already kind of bent because of just how it was, you know, stored in the packaging and you put it into the pasta roller and then you roll, oops, <laughs> carefully. You should always hold, hold it in practice as well. Should put it in this, it should go in this way. And then you should roll the pasta. Yep. Roll the pasta. There we go. Yeah, so I um I actually bought a, a pasta roller for um, my husband a couple years ago. Um, he, he makes some awesome fresh pasta, uh, and he, I got him one that. So the hand rolled ones are typically much better, uh, just because it lets you can control it a little better. Um, but they do have electric ones as well. Uh, this isn't going through very well just because of, I guess, how it got stored. I guess if I, you know, took some time and te some textbooks and flattened that out, it might work a little better. Uh, but it'll just be there for show. So this doesn't play any sounds, but it's still an interactive um, interactive piece. Um, this set was in that $20 range, just like the sushi set. And with the rice cooker... Um, and I will say there are a lot, like I said, there are a lot of pieces here that our generation has used before. So, for example, um, this uh, pot of basil they have used before. Um, it's just out of reach, otherwise I'd go get it. Uh, except this is pink and that one's white. I will say looking at all of this, um, I will say that, you know, for a $20 toy, we're splitting hairs at this point on quality, but the injection molding process that they used for a lot of these pieces, um, and some of like the finishing work, it's just not as high, it's not as good a quality as they have done in the past. Um, so, 
you know, and it's kind of, you know, it's, it's more obvious when they use the same pieces over and over again. So for example, this, um, for this set, the, the basil is not sitting directly inside the pot. You've got a really clear overhang on this side while you can see, um, the pink on this side so and I, I don't know if that's even coming across on camera it's such a like again we're splitting hairs at this point um but it is different and it's it is lower quality than it was before for the olive oil bottle there you can see the glue inside um like it's a lower quality glue if it's already changing colors from where they inserted the black piece which was a different injection molded plastic into this it's you know scratched up in places and um, the plate is um, already scratched. Uh, it's just, you know, again, splitting hairs. It's a $20 toy. It's really not that big of a deal in the long run. But I do want to point out, you know, we always are complaining about American Girl quality going down. Other companies are going down too. Things are just more expensive. I do want to point out one thing, though, which I think is very funny. Um, if you look at the box, um, this plate is white on the box. Right there, there's the white plate. Well, this is not a white plate, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Honestly, it would look better if it was just a plain white plate. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, we have a ravioli mold here, which is a really cute addition. And, you know, the ravioli pieces here. I was kind of interesting they did it in two. Um, I did see, and if I can find it, I'll link it. There was someone who reviewed this set as well who um actually cut this and like made it into eight pieces of ravioli which is amazing um and she also did some like arts and crafts with these to see if like you could use it with other materials other than what they provided you so i think it was really kind of cool um i also think uh piping bags i have a lot of piping bags but this one being a savory filling um is kind of nice it is kind of funny though that it like goes all the way up like hopefully your piping bag is not that messy on the top you really want all the filling inside the bag not on the edges but alas there it is a rolling pin um like here see here's another piece uh so this is where the injection molding happened um and it just you know it wasn't a clean break which is interesting and like there there's again i don't know it's already like super scratched up and yeah, um, but it's a, you know, kind of a hefty rolling pin, that's for sure. A rolling pin, a cheese grater, have lots of these. Um, this one is in plastic, but it's got a pink top to it. Uh, one block of Parmesan cheese, and I don't know what these red things are supposed to be. Maybe olives? I don't know. But this will join Blair's uh, farm kitchen hunk of cheese on a cheese board at some point in the future, I am sure. Let's see, a pot with a lid. It says smaller pot, but, um, you know, sometimes that's what you need. You need a smaller pot. You're going to boil your ravioli, I guess. There we go. Put our ravioli in there. Fantastic. A cluster of garlic. So this is kind of cool um, that they did cut it open so you can see it. But it is, again, stuck to the other piece. So you actually couldn't do anything with that if you wanted to. Um, two clusters of basil leaves. So they have used these in the past. Um, I have these from one of their pizza making sets, which is actually where I got the basil leaf and the olive oil from. Um, basil plant cluster of tomatoes. So you can see the, again, you can see that glue holding the tomatoes down, that white stuff. Again, uh, let's see. Basil leaves olive oil, salt mill. Oh, they're calling this a salt mill? I guess so. I guess in, in my mind, this would be a pepper mill. You can technically use it as a salt mill, but I would think this would be a pepper mill instead. Jar of tomato sauce. Okay, so this is the best piece of, you know, the pasta roller is cool, but this is, look how realistic this is. Like, it looks like there's flecks of, I guess the ring light is not helping right now. We see this flex of, like, you know, oregano and basil and all that other good stuff that goes into tomato sauce. Oh, it looks amazing. Um, a stovetop espresso maker. That's what this is. So this lid doesn't come off, which is fine, but it is adorable. Um, a plate. What's this? A spoon. They're calling this a cappuccino. Um, I don't know in what world 
you have a yellow cappuccino, but maybe this... I don't know, that's just a lot of milk if you're going to get to that color. I'm not quite sure, but that's okay. And one canolo, because I guess cannoli is plural, so canolo. So this is with the pistachios on the end. Um, as I said in the uh, last video with the espresso machine, some people say with the chocolate chips it does, it's not real. Some people don't like pistachios, but now you have, oh, I've got selection. Okay, so um, I think that's all the pieces. I'm going to take this to the kitchen and get this set up, and final thoughts will be there. Okay, and welcome back to the kitchen. I had to be a little creative with this set because I don't actually have a lot of counter space. Um, I do have some at this other sink, but I didn't feel like moving the sink, so... <laughs> um, we have the pasta, the pasta, pasta roller, um, salt mill olive oil bottle, rolling pin with a sheet of pasta, ingredients. I put the uh, pot with the spoon and the stovetop espresso maker back there. Again, you can see this with the, the large espresso maker, kind of just a neat comparison. Um, again, that cappuccino is kind of weird. That's just a weird color to me. I don't know. I'm holding in my hand the other um, cannoli. Just to see, I thought I'd compare them from the espressos. So they are different molds, so they are different cannoli, which is kind of interesting. Um, probably too much cannoli for breakfast, but that's okay. There's the cheese grater and the hunk of cheese. And I just threw the basil leaves there. Um, but yeah, overall, a really cute set. Um, definitely some quality issues that I didn't see in the other sets, except, you know, the sushi set had some scaling issues but in terms of the plastic injection molding quality issues they weren't there the glue issues they weren't there um all the pieces were stuck together kind of like this um yeah not a bad set um i think the scale is definitely here compared to the other set the sushi set um but you don't get the cute little rice cooker like you do in the sushi set so uh take that with what you will. Um, between the three, honestly, the espresso machine was my favorite. Don't know why. Um, but I like this one. I, I think it's is a good... I like this addition for my for my doll's kitchen. It just opens up the, the play possibilities a little bit more. Um, I hope if you decide to go with the set that you have sort of better quality things than I got. Um, but if not, um, you know, would I still buy this for $20? Probably. Um, probably. Maybe on sale would be a better, but it's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so um, that concludes uh, my set of three our generation food sets that I bought. Um, if you've watched all three, awesome. I'd love to know which is your favorite. And um, I know American Girl has done the carryout collection and the mystery bags, but I'd love to see them do more like everyday food stuff like this. It'd be really cool. Honestly, they could do a whole carryout thing and I'd still probably buy it. I'm not a huge fan of the mystery bags. I do like seeing what I'm buying before I buy it. Um, even if it means loads of plastic and packaging that it just gets absolutely destroyed in the process but um are there any other food things that you know they should make did they miss any opportunities they did you know so they've done pasta they've done like um sushi and dumplings and things like that you know maybe they could do tacos next that would be kind of cool a taco making set oh they could have like a little tortilla press oh that would be adorable um, yeah, any other ideas? I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, so thanks for sticking me with me with this series. Um, I hope it was informative and helped you help you make a, a good decision about what to buy. Um, if you're interested in food sets from our generation. Okay, one last look for the beautiful Corinne. There you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.